Rock, Minnesota. All right, it is not unusual to attend church service or a funeral in the black community and see women wearing gorgeous hats. They're bold, they're beautiful, and they do carry cultural significance. The history of church hats runs deep, and there is a new exhibit in the city of Minneapolis celebrating the women who wear them. Our friend Adrian takes us there. Aretha Franklin introduced and reintroduced an example of church hats in the African American culture. That hat with the pristine bow stole the show when she sang at President Obama's inauguration. But the crown on Aretha's head is more than a fashion statement for black women. And on display, an exhibit called Grace, uncovering the meaning behind church hats. There are references in different historical books that indicated that during slavery times, women who wor worked in the slave owners' homes were asked to cover their heads because the slave owner perhaps didn't like the grade of their hair or didn't want their hair shown. It features portraits and paintings of women from around the Twin Cities in hats. It's at the Minnesota African American Heritage Museum and Gallery in North Minneapolis. Hats became a way for black women to express individuality and creativity during slavery and under the Jim Crow laws. On Sunday, the day of worship allowed African-American women who worked as domestic servants a chance to showcase their style. It was also the only day they could break away from their uniform. They favored bold and bright hats to accent their elaborate outfits, which served as a way to honor God. Many Christians follow scripture, which says women must cover their heads during worship. Covering themselves in some manner uh, for their worship on Sundays. And the photographer behind the exhibit? I write stories, I publish. Wears many hats. I ride a bike. This is who I am, yeah. I know hats, I know material, I know the milliners, I know the milliners from all over the country. So, yeah, I know about hats. They're really over the top. It's just part of the tradition. Griffin's admiration started decades ago. I photographed thousands of people in hats. Okay. His fascination has led him around the country explaining the deep history. When I was about eight years old, um, my father had some friends and the lady um, of the family was a milliner. I was captivated, you know, just to sit there. She, they would be talking and, and over the course of three or four hours, she would create six or seven hats. I mean, I, I just could not believe that, you know, it was beautiful. Indeed, church hats are a big part of history. Many of the women photographed said their mothers, grandmothers, and aunts wore church hats. The tradition continues today. Here's a photo of me and my mom taken Sunday of us in our church hats, prompting us to raise the question, what does a hat say about someone? I'm wearing my art. I'm confident. I look good. I feel inspired. That's what it says. 